Well, good afternoon, and here we are, Friday again. Can you believe it? We're already a week into January. But uh, yeah, nice and calm, and everything's sort of out and packaged now and in the post or wherever it needs to be on its way to you. And so hopefully by this weekend, you should have some new bits and pieces to be playing with. So, okay, where are we going to start today? I've got a grey tile, uh, pen, pencil, tortillon, coloured pencils, should I need them. I uh, could probably do with a white chalk pencil. Give me one second. And there we go, white chalk pencil, being that I'm working on a grey tile. And let's make a start, shall we? I'm going to come straight in. Oh, shall I? No, I won't. I'll, I'll put a, a bit of a guideline in first. I'm going to do, uh, I, want, I want to mark the middle. So here we go, about there. And this way, it's always the easiest way. Again, if you would rather do it this exactly, then that's fine. Use a ruler, put yourself a little line in, job done. But I'm not going to worry too much about that. And here we go, a bit of a, like a uh, bubble in the middle there. Not, not too small, but <laughs> not too big. <laughs> there you go. And another one in there. Oh, hello, everybody. And good morning, New York. Gosh. Never ceases to amaze. Now I'm sat here in my office and we're, you know, carrying on what we're doing and people from New York come on in. And hello everyone, Ree and Kathy and everybody else that's in the UK as well. It's great. Okay, so I've got my little bubble. Let's just go on in. Uh, oh, Vicky, you're welcome. I got my email. You see? Just done that in the middle there. Okay. And uh, next bit. So again, if you would rather do this in pencil, you can do, but we're going to put a bit of a random shape in here. And I want sort of five bubbles. So maybe, maybe I get four, maybe I get six, but I'm aiming for five, all right. So let's go for it. Not, not right to the edge. So there's sort of one, two. They don't have to be the same. Three, four, five. Okay. Bit of a random, but there we go. So one, two, three, four, five sort of bobble areas. And then I want to draw another line all the way around it. So I can take it a little bit slower now because I've got something to work to. And it just sort of helps taking your time and, and putting that in place. All right. Oh, absolutely, Wendy, absolutely. Yeah, it's a good idea. I know it's it's terrible, isn't it, when you've got a bit of a, an, a bad hand or something's you can't quite get to what you want to do. I know I've had um, an order delivered today, and I'm now I'm working on something, so I can't open that until uh, I've done what I need to do. But that's right. yeah. Rose, yes, your email got to me. Um, yeah, if anybody doesn't know, I'm working on book twelve for, at the minute, and. I have asked if you you want to put any tiles in the gallery, send them to me. Now, what I do with this is, as long as you send them to the Santangle website, or well, Santangle email, Sandra at Santangle, and you, t you put in the subject, book 12, because what I will do is um, I actually just then do a search for book 12, and everything comes up on there, and then I actually open the file, save the picture, and then delete the email, so... Please make sure you put book 12 in the actual piece and the subject, because otherwise you, I won't find it. Okay. Oh, Sue, so, I know what you mean. We all have that, I think, don't we? Uh, you know, where we sort of lose how we sort of feel now and again. But, you know, hang in there. Just don't try and force it. Don't force it. It'll come back. Okay. Do you see I've sort of come back around and put that little line in there? So I'm going to do the same with this one. So imagine where it's going to be. And down. I still need to finish my advent. I've, I've done a bit of a board around the outside of it. Uh, everything else is coloured. So if I can get that done this weekend, I'll post a picture of it. Do you see this one? Again, I'm not trying to make them all the same. I'm just going with whatever I've got in there. Same here. 
Maureen, I've got yours. I recall the name popping up there. I've got yours. If you're thinking what on earth she's on about, if you have a look, Chris has put a post on about it. There you are. All right, I've got that kind of a shape. So usually we then sort of come from this side and start sort of doing whatever it is we're going to do. But today we're going to start at this point here, this point here, you see? So I'm just going to move in a little bit. Okay. Oh, so if not, we'll sort you out. <laughs> so, okay, there's my middle bit and I'm going to start at this point here. And I'm going to put a loop in from one side to the other. All right. So loop one side to the other okay and then I'm gonna do a loop this way I'm sorry it keeps going out of focus a little bit I, I honestly thought I'd sorted that it's obviously reverted back to one of its settings never mind never mind if I'm gonna use the whole thing for that there so I've got that shape. Oh, thank you, Chris. Uh, I mean, if people want to still send, uh, I'm going to be downloading them all probably tomorrow. So as long as they're in before tomorrow lunch, then you should be okay. But, uh, after that, I, I can't honestly guarantee because once I've downloaded them and started to uh, put them together on pages... It's very difficult then to go back and change things up. So there you go. So I'm just filling in these little gaps here. With the some ink. All right, let's have a look. See? So I've got that. Oh, don't forget that one there. Glad I looked at that. Okay. So you see that where I've actually got one crossed over as well. I'm so I'm going to fill that bit in as well. You know, let's, let's acknowledge the fact it's there. That's okay. So then I'm going to do the next one. But rather than do this and lean on what I've just done, I'm going to go the other way. So I'm going to go from here. So there's my middle look. I'm coming to this point. And then I'm going to draw in that first loop from end to end. And then back around this one and this one okay so loops first on one side then on the other okay so they're not too small these loops and then bubbles and you know if you find that your bubbles are a little bit flat or you're not quite getting them as round as you'd like go round them a couple of times like this you know Draw them two or three times over the touch then. And then we go. So uh, filling it in with a bit of colour there. Just so it brings it out, doesn't it? And to, I mean, you could fill this with a different colour if you want to, or you could fill it with bubbles or stripes. Whatever you want to do, it's absolutely fine. Oh, there we go bubbles for this so then on to the next one so from here again along and round and then with this one and same on this side you see following it keeping it in the shape there and then bubbles in the gaps you see so I'm trying to make my bubble fit the gap, so I'm not doing them too small. It's trying to fill and then come around and you know just add in just to get rid of those little gaps there. Add straight into this. So it'd be quite nice to see you could use a bit of glitter in these bubbles or a bit of gel pen, things like that would work nicely. Oh, Sue, so send it again. If you're not sure, send it again. But put version, put a uh, second attempt or something so I know that if you have sent it and I've already got it, I don't duplicate it. 
It's lovely, isn't it, actually? I think it's a real nice thing that when we're doing one of these books because I see the community that we all work together. So actually all of us having a gallery section to put our pages in, our tiles, I think it's a really important part of it. And I wouldn't want to do one now without. So I thank you. I appreciate you uh, sharing your work with me. Just please, please make sure it's a, a good quality photograph. I'd like to uh, show your work off as, to the best of uh, its ability. Okay. So I'm going to do uh, two there. And along there. And again, bubbles. Let's see. There we go. And then fill in the gaps. There we go. So uh, it's kind of nice to do this. And I think as well, you know, doing one of these, these books, going back and looking at the tiles really helps you to look at what you have actually achieved because, you know, it's 12 tiles were quite a way off. They were sort of they're in the back end of the hundreds going into the 200s. And when you think we're now into 400s, you know, you might want to go back and have a look at it and think, uh, you know, look at what you were doing. Okay. So that's sort of given us that little shape there. So now I'm going to come to the outside bit. So here we started with, you know, when we, we went to this corner. So here, I want to look at these curved shapes here. So I'm going to come in a little bit more. And I'm going to follow the curve round and put a curl in, a little bobble on the end. And then another one in front of it. Like so. And whilst we're in that sort of curl mode now, I'm going to go round and do that on each of those sort of uh, edges. Are they edges? Are they sides? And the next one. Now, if you want to do these in the opposite direction, please feel free to do that. As you know, I'm doing it in the left-handed fashion. But it doesn't matter which way they go. It's entirely up to you. And honestly, it's whatever makes it more comfortable for you. Okay. And then this one. Okay. And to that one. It is like a pretty splat, isn't it? Let's have a look at it. Okay, so we've got those little curls on. So let's go back in there, now you can see what that looks like. And bringing it in, I'm going to go from the top here, I'm going to bring in one. You see, I'm going to come in a little bit, and then in a bit, and in a bit. Okay. And the next one. So I'm going to do the same on all of them. I'm not going to try and count them and make them all exactly the same. I think it just depends on, you know, how big that, uh, it's quite big that one, how big that first one is, as to how many you got in there. So let's change it up a bit. You see that each one is getting a little bit smaller. See, see it's embracing its differences. We're all different and uh, it goes to show every single one of these is two. Look, let's have a look. Ah, lovely, isn't it? How that's sort of formed around. So let's have a look at this bit now here. Oh, Carol, no, I know my mum had trouble with her right hand. Uh, she had an operation on it, and I actually tried to draw with my right hand while she did, drew with her left just to help her out a bit, and uh, it was not the best. But Again, sometimes these, these things, you draw them just for you. So don't think everybody else has got to see them. If you get 
a little bit of relaxation just from drawing it, however rough it comes out, because you've used a different hand. It's not a problem, you know. So starting with a bigger bubble, and they go, they kind of getting smaller as I go around the shape. They're not going to go to completely tiny, but you know, try and balance it out a little bit. And the next one, so you see, it starts sort of nice size, and then gradually make it a little bit smaller and smaller. You see. As we go. Well, let's do another one there. So we're following it round, doing the same thing just to keep that memory going, that muscle memory. Let's have a little look at this. Yeah, look at that, isn't that lovely? So what I'm going to do now, I want to put a line all the way around it, you know, like we did earlier with this one. I'm going to follow the shape. I'm not going to try and completely do every single ridge. Um, it's sort of coming in and around, you see, and sort of slightly curving it as I go around those bumpy shapes. So it's sort of an imaginary line, it's not an exact replica, but that's enough. Working it round. Add a lot of crease and sort of bringing it in. Just leaving a little gap around it. Almost there. There we go. Okay. So if we've got any little bumps, let's have a little look. So for example, see you like here, you've got a little bump. I'm just going to thicken the line up a little bit there, just to give it a little bit of interest. So let's have a look around. Most of them, it's pretty, pretty even, really. But I'm going to make a couple of little shapes. You see, just sort of work it back in. And uh, so I'm going to go. I'm going to ignore that one, but I'm going to do one there. Filter it in a bit better there. One in there. You see, so it's coming in and doing little bits. Okay. And the nice thing, I'm going to go around it again. So, following the shape that I've got there, me picking it up again, working my way around. And uh, keeping it close, let's just move out just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. You see, I tend to move the tile rather than my hand too much of it, if I can. So I'm trying to keep my hand where it is. Bring the, the picture almost, or the tile, where I want to draw to it. So then we've got a slightly different shape going on here. So what I want to do is um, I'm going to bring another one of these lovely little curls in, but not not in the same space. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. All right, so same sort of thing. A little bit smaller, maybe. I know, Rose, we haven't, have we? You see, I've got a little dip there. So I can put a little one in there as well. So there, there's not really a dip there anymore, is there? Do I want to put one in? I think I'm still going to put one in. It's my decision. I can do it if I like. You see, they are a little bit smaller. Okay. Yep, I'm going to put one in here. So two curls, one smaller than the other. So looking for those dips. If you can't find a dip, and you want to add more, go for it. You see, so there's one there. 
can uh, get one in. And there, look, it's it's quite close, so I'm, I'm not going to put one in there, but that's okay. So then, of course, we did those little curves on the top. So we're going to follow that round just as we did before. Oh, Lynn, I'm not so sure. The two of you together. <laughs> I know, it's a bit of a riot. So I'll give you plenty of work to do. Keep you quiet. I'm actually, the, uh, the week after class, I'm actually going into college to do a talk <laughs> to uh, some art and design students. That should be fun. What do you think I should tell them? <laughs> no, you're not going to be quiet. I know that. I know. And then, as before, I'm going to come in with little bubbles to join them together. Hello, Joanne. Happy New Year to you too. Seems like ages since that now. It was only the weekend. We've had a my manic week since then. Oh, Maureen. Could you imagine you as well? You and Louise and Rose and Nadia and Lynn all, and Richard and Lisa all in the same class at the same time. I would have to amend my planning accordingly. <laughs> right. You see? <laughs> Bubbles all around. See, this is going to be quite a long distance. So you don't want to sort of Go too small with your bubbles too soon. I sort of gauge it. So you see I'm starting to get a bit smaller, just past halfway there. Uh, oh no, I think I spent enough years in school doing talks and things. Not uh, so they either listen or they don't. If they don't, I can always, you know, finish my tea and leave. <laughs> okay, that's nice. All right, so from this point, I'm going to add a, just a few bubbles in some of these areas. You see, they're not, they get not too small, but I just wanted to sort of uh, work it round. I'm not trying to put them in the same place all the time. Not the same amount, see? Just breaks it up a little bit. We, we want a little bit different. Okay. All right, then I'm going to put my pen away. I'm going to bring in my pencil here. Nice sharp point on it. Okay. So let's go in a little bit. First things first then, uh, centerpiece. Uh, do I want to do pencil? Do I want to colour it? I think I want to colour it. Um, let's have a look. I've got a bit of a, a peachy colour. I know I should rub that line out, but I'm not worried about it. I'm going to cover it. Let's bring a bit of peach in. And let's find my light peach. Put a bit of that in as well. And maybe just a touch of um, clementine on the edge there. Okay. I'm going to come back here and just sort of fill in. See, I quite like the fact that the uh, pencil's behind there. Let's just have a little look at that. Because what I can do, if I come back in with my pencil, I can just add a little bit on the edge. Just a little touch around the sides. Okay. Let's uh, bring that torch on in. Soften that off a little bit. Yeah, let's have a little look at that. There we go. It sort of looks a bit domed, doesn't it? Yeah, good with that. Okay. 
regular pencil then, here we go. I'm gonna start with these little loop shapes and I wanna add some at the bottom. Now don't be shy with this color, or color, or uh, applying graphite, so to speak, because we want it to be kind of dark. So top and bottom. And again, I'm just sort of thinking, do I wanna do these in the peach colors? Or do I wanna do it in pencil? So I'm gonna leave that just for a minute and think about it whilst I'm adding this pencil in here. And of course, because I've chosen a darker tile, I can actually get away with the pencil being a bit darker too. Uh, depends on what colour you use. And of course, if you've got a bit of inking going on on your tile in the background, you can do that as well. I seem to have mislaid my Victorian stencils. I was using them quite a bit. I don't know where I've put them. I'm in Dobby's bag. It's, uh, he likes to tend to tidy up, but not tidy up, if you know what I mean. He says he's tidying up, but everything just goes in his bag. So, don't know what causes that. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so I'm going to use my tortillon and I'm going to start uh, adding a bit of shade into this. And then I'll come back with the rest. So, start at that bottom edge and soften it out. Oh, Joanne, you might not be getting the alerts because we've changed it to the Santangle group page rather than on my other page. So that could be potentially why. So I'm going to have to create a new po profile page, see. So, uh, I didn't want to sort of confuse the issue. So I thought if we move to this, we'll all know that this one's fine. So. When I do my new profile one, it's not going to affect what we do on here. Okay, so it's softening all of that out. And that's quite far, just cleaning them up. And I'm not trying to go completely to the middle there. I just want to soften it enough so it fades. But I've got a nice dark piece there top and bottom. Oh, yeah. Same on this one. And, uh, just, just ease off the pressure. It's fine here, but then ease it off. Ease it off. I just want to take it to a very little sort of graphite down that edge. If you can. In here, so I'm gonna take it all up, and then I'm going to come back in ever so slightly and just soften it off. Same again. It's amazing when you think how many times we use loops and how many different ways we use them. So they're a really versatile shape. Amazing, they could be leaves or petals or all sorts of things. It makes a real difference. Uh, Joanne, I haven't asked him yet because he's absolutely snowed under with work. He's uh, having to re rejig and, and create different things. He's doing lots of different stuff at the minute with uh, files and things. And he's setting up a whole new system, so... He's, uh, he was actually here at half past four this morning because he couldn't sleep to get it all finished or to sort of work more on it anyway. So. He's, uh, I thought I was busy. Hmm. Okay, so there we go. We've got those little bits done. Uh, I'm going to come in now with my, my peach again. This is my mid-peach. I'm going to add a little bit of it into those little bubbles. I think it's going to look nice with that little hint of colour in there. Sort of uh, on that edge. 
and then I'll come in with the uh, the light peach. So I might, yeah, I'm going to even do the, you know, the bubbles, the larger ones anyway, around the outer edge. Just while I've got that pencil in hand. Then with the light peach. Just kind of uh, go around it. So I'm not making a huge thing of it. I'm, I'm adding that little bit of colour. It's, it's any part of it, so I'm trying to make it too sort of busy in that sense. Okay, got those. So back to regular pencil, and when we drew this original line here, I'm going to come around the whole thing. So bubbles and everything, curls and everything. Along it all. And uh, adding that in there. You see that's kind of easy again. Don't be too shy with that pencil. A little bit of that going in. And see right on this edge here, Going in with the, the same sort of idea, all the way around the edge, going over everything that you've drawn, it's absolutely fine. And just wander around with it. Again, just don't be too shy with the pencil, especially if you're on a darker tile. Vicky, I'm on on the 11th. It was going to be the 10th and we moved it to the 11th. Uh, there's, there's two shows. So I think it's one and five or something like that. Or two and five. I can't remember. Oh, it's those kind of times. So I'm coming back in. You see, I'm softening it off ever so gently. I'm not trying to fill the spaces. I'm just adding a little bit. See, I can do a bit more here, but less here on this section there so swirls here and then a little bit less as it's going around those thinner ends and then around the top we can come in and swirl it a little bit okay so you just keep it nice and easy take your time with it nice and a little amount of pressure Along we go. Going over the top of it, that's fine. Let's get to there. See, it just sort of works its way around. And along. Keep it going. So I'm going to bring my white pencil now and first thing I'm going to do is on the centre bits of each of these, I'm going to come in and, now I'm not pressing on too much, just allowing it to do its thing in the centres of those. So Leslie, no, I haven't had a cup of tea and I don't know what's going on when you're not here, see, it just doesn't happen. I don't know. John made me one earlier, so I've, uh, I've perhaps had, I don't know, three hot cups of tea and one cold cup of tea today. That's not many, is it? What well, might be only two cups of tea, I can't remember now. It's so engrossed in what I'm doing. Now, looking at this section here, let's just go in a bit, where we did the pencil. So, around this side, so on the inside of this line here, 
I'm going to add some. Now you're probably going to get more of it around this bit because here I've got quite a bit of graphite so it's not all going to want to sort of stay but yes there it will. So you're going to get a slightly little bit of a highlight in places rather than actually getting it all the way around but that's fine. You see so a little bit in there look right there. So not so much as we come around here because I've filled it with graphite. Let's have a little look at that. So we've got that kind of a bit of a line going around it, which I like. So I'm going to bring in uh, Torchy on again. Now I'm going to use my graphite one. I'll just rubbing up a bit of graphite. I don't really need on it. It's quite a bit on there. And I'm just going to ever so gently touch over. Now, when I say touch over, I'm hardly, look, hardly touching it. But it just sort of takes that roughness away. Okay, let me go in a little bit more. So, look, hardly touching. You see how it's, look. So it doesn't look as sort of um, as grainy on the top. It, it looks part of the design rather than, okay. Anyway, it sort of just filters in a little bit, but it doesn't take it away completely. And then here, you see where we've got just a little Again, I'm, I'm hardly touching it, but taking the edge off. So it, it's not sort of, see there, look. Easing it in. So it's still going to be there, but it's not going to be completely sort of taking over everything. Okay, let's have a little look at this. There we go. Oh, now Tommy's come in for the cup. So progress. It's Leslie text you. No. <laughs> no. Uh, I thought you'd text him, Leslie. No, I just checked at the time. I was like, oh, it's tempting. Oh. I know, it's not good. It's fit as you are. I am. <laughs> Coming back in with pen. <laughs> so you see where I did the darkness around this shape here earlier. I'm going to come back in with my pen and go back over just putting that darkness back in <laughs> so if you miss you know miss the line go off it a little bit don't worry about it I, I just want to sort of give it a little bit more darkness there I don't think it was on Tommy's list list. <laughs> I think Sarah's written him a list of jobs. <laughs> I mean that I've got my coloured pencil out. I'm going to come in with my black. And where I've just drawn in that section, I'm going to add a little bit of black just to those inner bits there, see? Same here, look, just to those inner bits. Now, because we've already shaded, it'll take it. It's not going to be too sort of like in your face here. And uh, it's going to give it a little bit of more dimension. But we don't have to try and blend the whole thing. You can see, it's going to give it a little bit. And then where we've got the point where the loop started, a little bit in there as well. So I'm just going to work it out a touch. Just nice light pressure. But because it's sort of the black, it's going to give it a little bit more strength there in terms of how dark it is. Let's go on again. So I'm going to do that in, in all of them, of course. But not at the tops, just at the bottom where those points meet. Okay, just where the points meet. And the same there. 
Okay, let's have a look at that. Oh, so look at the difference that's made. You see, just having that little bit of black in there and then having a bit of black in those pointy sections there really makes a difference, yeah? Okay, so I reckon that is about done and in uh, certain words, I don't want to faff anymore. That's probably fine, yeah? Okay, all right then, so... Uh, last thing to do, a little bit of a signature. So find yourself space, initials in there. And there's uh, our second tile of the first week of 2024. So, okay, have a bit of fun with this one. Try it, actually. If you think you want to go a bit bigger, try this, but do it in maybe eight or nine little bumps or just see how it goes. And uh, we'll do it small and then do more of this around the outside. And you'll, you'll get some different effects. So you're kind of nice. All right. So with that all done and said, have a lovely weekend, everybody. And I will catch you again on Tuesday at two o'clock, same time. And uh, okay, I'll see you then. Okay. Take care then. Bye.